Okay, decrease 80 by 27%. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. Using my calculator, I have to do the first one loop. So I could do 80 times 0 0.27. That is going to give me 27%. So do that on my calculator. 80 times 0 0.27. And then turn it, use the SD button, equals 21. Point six, and then it says decrease it here. So what I've got to do is then take that twenty-one point six off my eighty, which is going to give me well. Let's do eighty minus. I'm going to use the answer button because it remembers it. It's a smart thing to do, and it gives me fifty-eight point four. Okay. Now there is an alternative way, so I'm just going to put the answer fifty-eight point four in. There is an alternative way of doing it, so let's just, oops, stick a dark line down there, and then let's go back. So the other way is, I could just do the calculation 80 times 0 0.73. Now I got this 0 0.73 because I did 100, 100% minus 20, well 100 percent minus 27 percent which is 0.73 and if I just do that on my calculator 80 times 0.73 because I've taken off my 27 percent equals um, I have a feeling we might have lost uh, calculator cam just a sec oh is 58.4 which is what we had before no problem whatsoever. Uh, bottom one here. So it says express 84 as a percentage of 240. Well, that means I want 84 out of 240. I want to express it as a percentage, so times by 100. So you can do it a couple of ways. On my calculator, I could set up 84 over 240, and I could times by 100. And that gives me just 35. So we know that's 35% straight up. There's a couple of other ways you could do it. Um, to be honest, I don't think this is it's just straightforward doing it that way, really, if you've got a calculator. Otherwise, I would go forward and try and cancel this fraction down and see what I could do. But because I've got the use of calculator, that's fine.